Shalom. I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rukakadash. I want to send forth double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Shalom, Wa Barakim, La Bukharim, peace and blessings to the elect. Lord's will, this be an edifying video. And uh, I'm just going to get a do a video on the true riches, man. All right. Matter of fact, let's get this. It's Isaiah chapter 55 and verse. We'll start from the top. Ho, oh, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. And eat. And he that have no money, come ye buy and eat. Yea, come buy with buy wine and milk without money and without price, man. All right, because, you know, everybody in this world and society... It's about a uh, carnal gain, man. All right, but the Lord has given us opportunity to receive something far greater, all right, than wine and milk and money and tangible goods. And guess what? It's for free, okay? Which is the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these holy scriptures, man. All right, which is invaluable, okay? Because the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these holy scriptures, this wisdom, it, it, it's, it's forever, man, okay? And those that, that eat of this wisdom are going to live forever. All right. This is verse two. Wherefore, you spend money for that which is not bread and your labor for, the, for that which satisfieth not. Hearken diligently unto me and eat. Yea, that which is good. And let your soul delight itself in fatness, man, because that bread is perishable, man. All right. But this right here. What, once you eat this, you never have to eat anything else ever again. All right. Now let's get this. It's First John chapter 2 and verse 17. And the world passed away and the lust thereof. Everything in the society that you see, man, this physical stuff. All right. The things you see with their eyes, it's going to pass away. It says, but he that doeth the will of the Most High abide it forever. But he that doeth the will of the Lord is going to live forever, man. And where do you find the will of the Lord? Within these within these holy scriptures, these words, man. This is uh St. John chapter 6 and um 63. It says, It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life, man. So the spirit is what quickeneth, meaning that's what makes you alive. All right, and the spirit are these words. The flesh, it's not profitable. It leads unto death. It's corruptible. All right, so knowing that, what should be the number one priority, man? The number one priority should be uh, obtaining this uh, incorruptible word, man. This truth. This is, um. let's get this. Elizabeth well, Solomon 15 and 3. It says, For to know thee is perfect righteousness, yea, to know thy power is the root of immortality. So the, to know the Lord is the, is the key to immortality, man. It's the root. It's the perfection of wisdom. This is Wisdom of Solomon 8 and 5. It says, If riches be a possession to be desired in this life, what is richer than wisdom? That worketh all things, man. So if you desire nice things, uh, different possessions, what's great, What's a greater possession than actually obtaining wisdom? There isn't anything, all right? Because wisdom is is what worketh all things. It's, it's through wisdom. It's through Yahweh Shai that all things were created. The Lord created all things. Yahweh Shai represents wisdom, man. All right, so once you get wisdom, you're going to obtain everything else, man. Just like King Solomon. Let's get that. Let's see. This is First Kings 3. And verse... We'll start at verse 7. All right, because the Lord came to King Solomon and, and pretty much said, you can have anything you want. And let's see what King Solomon asked for. It's First Kings 3 and 7. And now, O Lord, my power, that was made thy servant king instead of David, my father, 
and I am but a little child. I, I know not how to go out or come in. And thy servant is in the midst of thy people, which thou hast chosen, a great people that cannot be numbered nor counted for multitude. Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people, that I may discern between good and bad. For who is able to judge this so great a people? And the speech pleased the Lord that Solomon had asked this thing. So the Lord asked for discernment, understanding, all right, wisdom, man. And we just read Wisdom of Solomon. We wouldn't have been able to read that book of Wisdom of Solomon if King Solomon right now didn't ask for that wisdom. All right, we're reading the account where the Lord is blessing Solomon with that wisdom. All right, and this, this is what the Lord did. Verse 11, it says, And the Most High said unto him, Because thou hast asked this thing, and hast not asked for thyself long life, neither has asked riches for thyself, nor has asked the life of thine enemies, but, it, but has asked for thyself understanding to discern judgment. Behold, I have done according to thy words. Lo, I have given thee a wise and understanding heart, so that there is so there was none like thee before thee, neither after thee shall any arise like unto thee. It says, And I have also given thee that which thou hast not asked, both riches and honor, so that there shall not be any among thee. The kings like unto thee all thy days. All right. So King Solomon asked for wisdom. And guess what the Lord did? Not only did he give him wisdom, but everything else was given unto him. Riches. All right. Honor. Glory. All right. Anything you could think of, man. It was all given unto him, but it started through wisdom. All right. Because wisdom is the beginning, man. All right. The scriptures say, let's get that. Proverbs. This is Proverbs 4 and 7. It says, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all that getting, get understanding. Principle means first, man. Wisdom is the first thing. It's the priority. It's the number one thing you should be desirous of, man. And then everything else is going gonna, is gonna, is gonna, to um, be added unto it, man. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Proverbs 8. This is Proverbs 8 and verse 10. It says, receive my instruction and not silver and knowledge rather than choice gold, man. And if you listen to this video, man, you follow the, the words of the Lord, man, that's broken down by the, the Heavenly Father's Holy Prophet, starting with the, the apostles and elders went down at Great Millstone, man. All right. That's what you're doing, man. You're receiving instruction, which is greater than silver and greater than choice gold, man. Verse 11, it says, For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. All right? So wisdom is more is greater than any thing you could work for in this life, man. And guess what? The Lord has given it to us abundant, abundantly. Okay? He's giving it to us freely. He's giving it to us according to our own desire, man. This is Sirach chapter 6. In verse 37, it says, Let thy mind be upon the ordinances of the Lord and meditate continually in his commandments. He shall establish thine heart and give thee wisdom at thine own desire. So according to your own desire is how much wisdom the Lord is going to give you, man. So the Lord is giving it to us abundantly according to how much we want it, man. All right. This is wisdom of Solomon 6 and 20. It says, therefore, the desire of wisdom bring it to a kingdom. So through wisdom comes the kingdom, man. Verse 21, it says, if your delight be then in thrones and scepters, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. All right. So you're supposed to what? Honor wisdom and what? You're going to receive the kingdom of heaven, man. All right. This is uh, Colossians 3 and 1. It says, if ye then be risen with Yahweh Shai, all right, and how are we risen with Yahweh Shai through, through wisdom, man, through giving, being given this knowledge, man. Seek those, seek those things which are above, all right, the, the knowledge of the heavens, man, this word, this wisdom, because this word, this wisdom that we're meditating on and reading and going into comes from above, man, where Yahweh Shai sitteth on the right hand of the Mosai. Set your affections on things above, 
not on things on the earth. How do you set your affections on things above? You you, you set your love on this, man. All right, not the things in the world. Because the things in the world is perishable, man. And it will be destroyed. All right, but these words are going to lead to our, our eternity. It's going to lead to eternal life. It says, for you are dead and your life is hid with Yahweh Shai in the heavenly father. When Yahweh Shai, who is our life, shall appear, then shall you also appear with him in glory. But what we're going to live when our Lord comes back, we're going to receive glory, man. All right, now let's get Matthew 6. We're going to close on that. This is Matthew chapter 6 and verse 19. Lay not up for yourself treasure upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. All right. The stuff in this society, any man can steal it from you, man. It doesn't matter what it is. All right. It's corruptible, man. It's polluted. But everything that we receive in the kingdom is going to be pure, undefiled. No man can take it from us. Once the Heavenly Father gives it to us, no man can take it from us, man. All right, verse 20 says, But lay, lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust off corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. And our heart's supposed to be on the Lord, man. Upon wisdom. All right, so Lord's will, this is edifying. Koholo, Yahweh Bashim Yahshah, Bashim Rukakadash. The bonus to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the Ruel. Shalom wa barakim la bakarim. Peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.